Hey guys, this is a Jordan Tutor view of two free screen capture utilities for Android. They both require root access and you can find them both at the marketplace. So one's called Screenshot, the other's called DrillCap2. So let me show how they work. First Screenshot, this is the one I like least. Um, the reason why I like it least is that it uh, does some really funky things. One is they've got this option where you can invert red and blue colors. I don't know why you want that. But if you don't select that, it actually does invert it. So, and I'll show you how that works. So, first thing we we'll do is we'll test the shake feature. So, the shake means that when it notices a shake on your computer, it'll snap a screenshot. So, let's set that to shake. Go to a website and we'll shake away. There. Okay. So, it's taking a screenshot there. And let's look at that screenshot. Okay, screenshots. So you can see the colors are off, so it actually inverted the colors. So to get that to be the correct colors, you actually have to go and select that to not invert the colors, and it's kind of weird. Now the second way you can take a picture is by taking a delayed screenshot, so in this case five seconds, so trigger that. Go back to the website. And then we'll go to gallery. And so that was the one that I took with the shake, so it's inverted the colors. And here's the one that looks fine. And that was taken by uh, the timer. Alright, so a few more options here. You can select a bitmap, PNG or JPEG for the file type. And I checked on the once I downloaded all three types and the bitmaps are about 1500k. Uh, the PNGs are about 250k and the JPEGs are about 100, 120k. So that gives you an idea of the size of the screenshots that come out from this application. So I think that's about it. So it's a pretty straightforward app. And uh, one problem I did have was like, um, whatever I set here, shake or not shake, it actually just it responded to the shake. So I am going to have to kill that so it doesn't interfere with the next program that I am going to show you. So screenshot kill, so we know that's not going to be triggered at all when we shake. Okay. Second one is DrillCap2, and I like this app a little better. Okay, so it's got three capture modes: shake, tr timer, and notification trigger. So the shake works the same way. Okay, you can just uh, see how that works by clicking on web. But the problem with this one is I couldn't actually get the shake to register. So no matter how much I shook the device. As I'm shaking it now, it just wouldn't take a screenshot, so let's ignore that one. It's not a good uh, feature for me anyway. I don't like to shake the device to take a picture. But the one um, capture mode I do like, um, they have the timer trigger, just like the other app, but they have this notification trigger, which is really neat. So how it works is whenever you're at a, a page or a screen that you want to capture, you just pull on your notification bar, and you click the trigger, and that's it takes a picture and let's see other options you can save images as JPEG or PNG uh, they don't offer the bitmap like the other application but that's not a format I would use uh, you can auto register the um, app so that it's always on whenever you reboot the device and you can tell it where to save it on your SD card and also give it a specific file name prefix so Pretty simple app, and this is the one I like um, better of the two. Let's look at the output for that. So, back. Oh, gallery didn't pick it up yet. So, let's just go to my file manager and screenshots up. Drill cap. So, that's the picture that I took. Okay, so that's a quick review. Of the two, I would recommend DrillCap 2 just because it has that notification trigger. So it's always on, and you're just one click away from uh, triggering a screen capture. But both of the apps work uh, fairly well, except in the shake mode. I, I wasn't happy with both of them. Hope this has been helpful.